here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go drive basically all around Lake Tahoe. The RV park here gave me this uh, nice uh, map about the eastern part of Lake Tahoe and they have like little cameras, you know, like don't forget to bring your camera, like maybe scenic picturesque uh, places. I think I'm going to do clockwise and uh, we'll see. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. And my stay here in, in Carson City, the capital of Nevada, it's uh, more than anything, you know, I need to do an oil change on the truck, which is going to happen tomorrow. And uh, basically work for the two days that I'm going to be here, but I'm here, so might as well see the lake and the Capitol building, if, uh, if anything, later. And uh, by the way, nice casino here, right there. That's the casino. And uh, I just had a lunch there. Very abundant, for especially for the price. Eh? You know, I had a beef stroganoff that came in a bed of fettuccine for 10 bucks. And it was a huge plate. I haven't eaten that much in probably since Miami. So here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do. It is afternoon already, but we're here in the dead of summer, so the days are long. And for the rest of today, we're just going to drive around Lake Tahoe. See what we can find. Think of it as an overview. And there it is, our first glimpse of the lake. Well, yeah, I see what all the fuss is about. Let's park at one of these vista points. You know, one of the ones I showed you on the map. Well, welcome to Lake Tahoe. And we are somewhere around... Ah, you are here. There you go. It is called Logan Shoals Vista, seeing Lake Tahoe for the first time with the snow-capped mountains on the California side is definitely one of the highlights of this leg of the trip. I kind of wish I had a boat, or even better, a friend with a boat, to sail these waters on this perfect weather day. That's Cave Rock, by the way. But I'm thinking maybe we can get a slightly better perspective from the air. Ooh, nice place they've got there. Ever since I saw The Godfather Part 2, arguably the best of The Godfather movies, one of those rare occasions where the sequel is better than the original, um, and the movie starts here in Lake Tahoe, so... So yeah, it's one of those things, Michael Corleone had a house here, so yeah, ever since I saw that movie back in the 80s, I've wanted to come here. It is one of those places that epitomizes wealth. Here's looking back at the tunnel. I see a bunch of casinos, which probably means that is the California border. Here we are, on this side it is simply called State Line and South Lake Tahoe in California. Almost at the border. And here we are. California State Line. Welcome to California. Oh, well, thank you very much. Definitely a ski resort town in the winter. And a nice lake town now in the summer. Well, I decided to stop here at this public beach called El Dorado. There's Cave Rock, and you can actually see the cave from this side.
very nice public beach here. A lot of people barbecuing and enjoying the, the beach down there. Very nice. continue driving around Lake Tahoe. We are approaching Emerald Bay State Park. Let's stop and check out this view. Inspiration Point Vista. All right, I'm ready to get inspired. Down there, the only island on Lake Tahoe called Fenet and all these beautiful trees. This happens to be one of the most photographed spots in the lake. And the structure that looks like a castle is what remains of a building called a tea house it was constructed by Mrs. Laura Josephine Knight, owner of another important building on this bay called Viking's Home, which unfortunately we're not gonna visit today. It almost feels as if everywhere you look, there is something interesting to see. Here's the island from a different angle and uh, Cave Rock now way out there in the distance on the other side of the lake. So many boats, so many boats. We've reached Tahoe City, dubbed America's best mountain town. Seems lovely. Too bad I didn't allocate more time to this area, because it seems like a lovely walkable town, but we're quickly running out of daylight here. Next stop, King's Beach on the north side of the lake. Well, here we are, like five miles south. I always find it interesting how Google determines the Take center the right of on the Bear Street. The center of a city, which in the case of, of King's uh, King's Beach, it was this street right Very, very unusual. Alright, let's get back home. Always fun to stop on the side of the road from time to time to admire the scenery. Okay. One last scenic overlook here before we go. Well, there's this uh, trail or bicycle path here. Which is actually very, very pretty.
It is certainly a beautiful drive as we descend onto Eagle Valley, where Carson City is located. Well, that was a fun little drive up, uh, around uh, Lake Tahoe. There's that Boudin Casino. Good afternoon, actually. I spent most of the day editing video and waiting to get the oil changed on the Colorado. So now, let's go to Carson City, if ever so briefly. I mean, at least we have to see the Capitol building, right? And here we are, the Nevada State Capitol. Eventually, I want to visit all 50 of them. It is closed right now, but at least we can take a peek inside. Well, there you have it. At least we saw something here in Carson City. We saw the state capital. Of course, this is the capital of Nevada. And this wasn't really in the plan. And that's why we haven't really seen much of the area. The plan was to have an RV park with full hookups so I could work and a nearby Chevy dealer so I could take the Colorado for, uh, for scheduled maintenance, which definitely needed it. Um, an oil change for sure. The last oil change was back in Miami. And, um, and really there's a couple of things that I'm gonna have to drop off the original plan. One of them, Reno. I'm not gonna go to Reno. Second one, um, Sacramento. Probably gonna drive through Sacramento, take a picture of the California uh, capital while I'm there. And uh, then continue towards Petaluma because the day after tomorrow we have uh, the meetup at Lagunitas Brewery. Let me cross the street here, see if I can get a better view. Because the, 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 the lighting is weird. Times like this when you need a camera with a little bit of a manual mode. So you can go like this and then we can see the detail. Yeah, the Capitol building kind of hidden behind all those uh, trees. On top of this Greek revival building with the Doric columns. This is Office of the Attorney General of Nevada. Well, at least yesterday we got to see uh, Lake Tahoe. I almost uh, lost the drone. And um, I wanted to meet up with Paul and Lorena of the Motorhome Experiment, but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Uh, you know, time is short. And. Um, you know, they're, they're staying somewhere near Lake Tahoe, which is 15 minutes from here, the east coast of uh, Lake Tahoe, but they're like on the west coast, on the California coast. This is uh, the Nevada Law Enforcement uh, Memorial. Oh, Kit Carson. Carson himself. Very well kept capital grounds, as they usually are. And uh, here's the Supreme Court. almost impossible to get a good picture of the capital because it's surrounded by all this vegetation so well it's almost 7 p.m not a whole lot going on here in downtown Carson City yeah the streets are almost eerily deserted everybody must be indoors actually all the restaurants actually have people inside so it's not as dead as it looks Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but I, I already ate. I ate at Prime Rib at the casino right next door to the RV park. This is all I have to say about Carson City. Seems nice. I'll be back. I'll return someday. Well, 
that's kind of what a work day looks like on the road. Tomorrow we're going to California. Well, good morning. Today we're going back to California. And uh, I didn't want to go before, um, you know, showing you a little bit of this RV park. Which, by the way, very nice, very nice uh, people. The sewer passed the threat test. There's the laundry facility, very nice, very, everything very clean, everything works, which is, you have a change a machine there. I mean, the sites are a little tight together, but it's fine, you know, it's a city RV park, so that's expected. And it's cent relatively centrally located, you are like eight minutes away or ten minutes away from, from downtown and the capital and all that. But here they have a pool, which I'm just going to show you through here. Right now it's covered. I could have sworn it was uh, operational when I arrived a couple of days ago. Or well, maybe because it opens at 10 a.m. So that's probably why it's covered, because it's not open yet. It, it was a, a very productive uh, day. Yesterday was a very productive day. I finished a video. I uploaded a video. Well, on the road again. And... Um, it is uh, four hours exactly by the GPS. So you know that's going to be six, right? Because the GPS lies. So this is the thing. The GPS doesn't take into account that I go a little slower than the speed limit. It doesn't take into account that, um, that I have to stop, you know, to go to the bathroom, put gas, things like that. To California we go! California, of course, the Golden State is on the other side of the lake, so we kind of have to drive around it for a little bit. Once again, we pass by the casinos of State Line, Nevada. I don't know if you've noticed, but Nevada has casinos pretty much at every state line. And back in California we are. And guess what that is? An inspection station. The fact that this exists is still kind of mind-boggling to me. I was under the impression we were all like the same country, but at least this time they didn't take anything away. Well, they didn't take anything this time. Apparently apples from uh, Washington and uh, nectarines from California are okay. And, uh, maybe I should keep those uh, bags for future. <laughs> oh, brother. It is up and up and up until we reach Echo Summit at 7,382 feet above sea level, the highest point in the entire US-50. Here we are also intersecting the Pacific Crest Trail, and from here we have nowhere to go but down, all the way to the Pacific Ocean. We might pass by Sacramento along the way. I just realized by looking at the map that this US 50 is actually the Lincoln Highway, so I'm doing the Lincoln Highway. Now, following the South Fork American River Canyon as we continue our relentless descent. Yep, it is a long and windy road. Eventually, it opens up upon our final descent to the valley and there is downtown Sacramento in the distance. It is a pretty sudden change in landscape, let me tell ya. And as you probably know, there's a lot to see and do here in Sacramento, including a great railroad museum, but... I am way behind schedule, so I'm dropping all this off the original itinerary and we're just gonna do one thing here, and that is see the Capitol building.
There it is. And I see Sacramento has also embraced scooters as an acceptable mode of transportation. That's it. That's where they make all the important decisions. How about it, huh? Two capitals in the same episode. Two for the price of one. To look like wine country, or at the very least, the butter and egg capital of the world. It is a pretty distinctive look. Yes, wine country. Made it to Petaluma, California. We're gonna stay here at the KOA. I'm gonna go to an Amazon locker and pick up my new hiking shoes and some other stuff, and tomorrow we'll explore the area. Morning. Such a beautiful morning here at the San Francisco North Petaluma KOA and today is one of those rare occasions in which I'm going to break the timeline. By the way, I probably got the tightest spot here in the whole campground, but apparently that's all they had left. Coffee time because it's gonna be a long night. Oh, I got, I got some. I made me some Cuban coffee. Those are my neighbors, the lost RVers called Ruth, Peg and Wife. And if you haven't noticed, it's now afternoon. And I'm going to save most of today's activities for the next episode. First, I'm gonna go see Tony, whom I met in Quartzsite in January of 2019. We are, here we are, here we are with Tony and we're gonna do a quick recording here. He has a... Stressless a, a, camping. And you have that new, uh, the road... Uh, yes, I do. I love it. I, I brought it. I'm yeah. really curious to see you. what that it's looks funny. like. I took out... Oh man, it looks like a recording studio yeah. in here. It's funny, I took out the couch. <laughs> oh really? So here's the... Oh wow. There, there used to be a couch in here, and it's kind of a mess because I... Uh, All right. I kind of set everything up for this, but... And this is the... There it is, that's the Roadcaster. Yeah. And I absolutely love that thing. And one of the neat things is uh, you can Bluetooth the phone. So that's what we'll do, we'll get Peggy. Oh. So I can Bluetooth the phone. I also can, I have another phone that I can attach uh, with tip ring ring sleeve here. I forgot the cable. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, here it so is. There, okay. Never mind. I have well, a, this is really cool because yeah. uh, I have a more of a complicated setup. And to me, it's really complicated to do an interview this like over is, the phone. So, um, and it saves everything to those micro SD cards. So, right. and it's a 14 something like that it's a bunch of tracks so uh, awesome. let me well, let's get into it yeah. he interviewed me for his podcast i interviewed him for mine and that was a lot of fun but the fun begins now next stop the meetup well this is lagunitas needless to say there's not a whole lot of footage from the meetup i got some pictures courtesy of tony stress less camping and I'd really like to thank all of you who came to hang out, you know, spend a couple of hours together, we had some beers. A gentleman even gave me a travel guitar as a present. Here's some extra footage, courtesy of the Lost RVers, Cal Root, Peg and Wife, and that's pretty much it. Like they say, what happens at the meetup stays at the meetup. For the most part. My RV, my RV. The guitar is a little, it's a little off key. <laughs> On the next episode, we are going to explore California's Pacific coast, all the way from the Golden Gate Bridge to the Oregon border. Ooh, and we're going to walk among the giants. Right.
riding in my 